Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, this is Thursday, January the 20th. Basil Chapman here for the Tiger Financial News Network. Nine o'clock. Uh, market update, the Dow futures are up 124. You can see this chart of the Dow daily on a closing basis yesterday. Really ugly candles. It needs to get at least into the middle of that candle. Uh, if, if the Dow is closing uh, around about um, 1 o'clock this afternoon to 1.30, up above 120 points. And then maybe pulls back a little bit, but by 2.30 to 3.10 this afternoon, actually sees another burst of energy. Finally, you could have a decent up day. Uh, the tide is really to the downside, and we're going to see if there's counter trend rallies that can hold nicely. You're looking at the S&P closing yesterday, also at its lows. Uh, underneath key support, the 4,600 level, the futures are up. The S&P futures up 22. And that's just saying that if the futures are up at 22, they really need to be holding up at 25 points points or more by the by three o'clock this afternoon to get a decent close you don't want to see another bout of selling come in in the last hour the qqq ndx 100 is trading up 3.83 370.31 it made a lower low it's up above the 200 period moving average support of 364 it really needs to get to the 375 378 area by early next week to say hey i've got some strength here otherwise it's failing iwm the russell 2000 took out his left side uh 200 107 support level. Uh, it went to 204 yesterday. It's trading at 205.41. Wow, this doesn't look all that good. Gold is doing beautifully here. It's up three at 1846. It made a new uh, recovery high after yesterday's spectacular move to the upside. That's a good sign. And what I've been saying is that the dollar broke underneath its support. It should go back and test that support in the 9550s. And then it should start to trade under into the 9530 or lower level. We'll see if that's going to take place. That'll help gold. And the TLT is just trying to find a base here in the 141 area is trading at 141.42 wow yields have been going higher there's a chance now that you could get a little bit of a bounce in the bonds so that the yields can come down a little bit and crude oil is getting close to the the 86s where there's quite a lot of re resistance let's see how that's handled spectacular move in in uh, crude oil going back to the october 2018 high right in the 86s we'll see what happens have a wonderful day stay tuned you've got tommy o'brien coming up for uh, this is the market kickoff great programming all day have a beautiful day i'll see you at my usual time tomorrow friday how's a chance